Music, look big! He grew, bro. He grew. Look, 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 look. Yeah, you're fighting. He grew. Whoa, bro, you got a good one on. Look, it's just like it's We're doubled up. Right. You put us on the good numbers today, Glenn. This is the way it's done. All right, guys, it is day two. We are in beautiful Bahamas once again, and we're starting out the day deep dropping. We're putting some groceries on the boat. Brooke on her very first drop. First I, think, drop. I think we got redemption, a decent one on. Redemption from yesterday. Yeah, because yesterday the deep drop bite. Um, Glenn got some new numbers today. The numbers that he had yesterday, we were kind of just like wandering around, but he said he got some good numbers today, and that's what it's all about. It should be an instant bite, because these fish are 1,000 feet down, 1,200 feet down. And anything that comes down there, any kind of bait, usually gets tight. Beautiful yellow eyes. Beautiful yellow eyes. Beautiful. The heck? It's a shark. Oh, it's a giant! Oh! Mitch, get that gap. Heck Holy! Damn, bro! Oh, you got it, Sam. Damn! Hold your elbow out. I got the fish. I want to get the weight. That is one ugly looking fish. You got it, Sam? Hell yeah! That's a wrecked fish. Look at that thing. That's a wrecked fish? All right, Brooke, I'm going to give you the gaff, okay? Sea bass. Sea bass. Sea bass. Will you hold it up for me? I have to say, this thing is pretty ugly. <laughs> this is a wrecked fish. This is my first wrecked fish. I know, isn't that cool? Woo! Okay, hold it. You want to so we drifted off our original location. Now we're back in thousand, thousand foot, about nine hundred. Nine hundred. And the craziest part, guys, is look over there. There's land. We're only about two miles offshore, which is nothing like it is on the southeast coast where we're from. If you're two miles off anywhere, you could be anywhere from a hundred yeah, feet to four hundred feet. But out here, you're in a thousand feet of water. I don't know. Glenn, this isn't a green eye, is it? Is it? Check out that eyeball right there. They are like the most realistic human looking eyes I've ever seen out of a shark. Let's put them back. Check this guy out right here. Kind of looks like a, uh, a lane, I'd say. Silky snapper. Eyeballs blown out. There's a queen snapper. Yellow eye snapper, and then the wreck fish, which is actually not a grouper, even though it looks like a grouper. It's a giant sea bass, Glenn told us. All right, guys, change of plans. We are done deep dropping. It is time to get in the water, swim with some sharks, stone some fish, and get some dinner in the boat.
as you can, yeah. There's that day two haul right there. Look at all those queen snappers, yellow eyes, big female hog. I shot mutton, completely blown out. I shot him here first, and then he went in a rock, shot him through there, went out the butthole. Some more queens. Check out the size of this schoolmaster. I never seen one this big. And um, he was in the rock. I shot. I saw him like four times, and then I kept going back to it, back to it, back to it. And I finally shot him. And then the nicest hog of the day. Big pull him up. This is her trophy right here. That is a stud hog, guys. Shot by yours truly. Hey. That's a big male hog. Show them. Show them the mouth. You guys check out this mouth. Everyone wants to pick when they come to the Bahamas of that giant mouth. It just looks so sick. And look at those! Look at those front teeth. They're giant chompers. <laughs> they um. This is a male hog. I saw the female hog right here that I shot. Let's just do a side a side to side comparison. Look at the difference in the sizes of the mouth. There's Brooks hog male. There's my hog female. Completely different. It's insane. Just drinks. This is a wreck fish. Never caught one of these. Um, Brooks first one too. And this is actually a uh, sea bass in the sea bass family. It looks just like a grouper. Has the body of a grouper, fins of a grouper, even has those kind of circular uh, peg fins. But it's actually a sea bass. Very cool looking fish. We caught this guy in about a thousand. Keep talking. I don't keep talking. I just. Yeah, but that dino fun, son. We were going to give the schoolmaster over to Adam over here, and he said that no, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn said the same thing. Apparently. So this guy right yeah, here. he looked at me like I was crazy, yeah, I'm like, what? no, no, no. What, what? So this guy is a schoolmaster, and like I told you guys, it is kind of big for his, um, for this species. You don't see him this big. So any of the older fish on the shallower reefs, they have a chance of getting cigatera poisoning, which is a big, big no-no. You will get very sick. We're, uh, we're in the... Fast. <laughs>
just kind of bend it around the corner. Literally the perfect knife. Not sharp at all. You can run your fingers along it like that and it just separates the uh, flesh from the skin and you never get that spot where you have a little bit of skin left because well, it's not it's, sharp enough. It's, ventil it's ventilated as well where it doesn't suck down. You, a, lot, a lot of times when you cut with a knife straight, it sucks down. That way it's kind of ventilated so it floats across the skin. Okay. And it's not this super all sharp. The ridges? Is that what you do? Yeah. Okay. That's what these ridges are for. This is why you never aim for the body for a kill shot. Because that's what happens to your meat right there. Time for the big guy. sneak up on them, but I'll tell you guys what they're doing in a second. So you girls are in the Bahamas, and you're standing in a little little uh, tunnel right here. Because this is our why? Wi -Fi because corner. why? <laughs> our Wi-Fi corner. Uh. The only place we get Wi-Fi right here. She's hiding because she knows. <laughs> Don't be a millennial. Come on. Come back. Great. This man right enough. here is not only a fish slaying machine, a fish cleaning machine, but he's also a fish cooking machine right here. You prepared them all the same way? He's not a, well, dish, he's we have, not a dish washing machine. We have, <laughs> no, we have some with House of Audrey and we have some in Panko. Panko? Is it a mix of the queen, the wreck, and... No, it's all queen. Oh, really? no, it's all queen. Do you guys see that? We're going to have some queen snapper for dinner. Looking forward to it. First queen snapper, I have to say, it's very delicious. I'd say since your plate is empty, it was probably good. It's very flaky and it's really good. But what we got here is, we had an awesome day in the Bahamas today. We did some deep dropping. Brooke's on the camera. She got our biggest hog. She got the two biggest fish of the day, an absolute stud hog and an absolute stud redfish, which are two very good um, fish to eat. So we got um, some queen snapper. I've never had queen snapper before. We got those deep dropping. Glenn made them for us. Glenn made them for us. We, um, we cleaned them up. He cooked them all up. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite out of this guy and see how it tastes. Because I've never had it before. And this one is in panko breadcrumbs. These cold water fish definitely have a distinct, like... Who's this? Very fresh, sweet taste to them. It is unlike anything else. They're definitely, the texture is definitely um, in its own class for sure. Mitchell, you think so too, right? Listen, guys. <laughs> right now, we're on trip of a lifetime. This fish right here is hands down the best fish I've eaten. You go with the best captain in the world, you catch the best tasting fish in the world, and you eat it the best way possible. The end of day two, and that's a wrap. Say it. Mitch, you, you don't even know. You don't even know our catchphrase. No, you're gonna say. You don't even know our catchphrase. I'll yeah. see you, little land sharks, in that next video. That's he, it right there. Our little land sharks. I'll see you, little land sharks, in that next video. There it is. All right. Peace. Peace.